Let's start. Today we will see how to implement the Fragment Back Stack navigation in Kotlin Android. Let's see the project structure. At the app level build.gradle file, write this plugin. Here we have the main activity and two fragments 1 and 2. And in the UI, we have the activity underscore main.xml file, which is the main activities layout. Two fragment layouts. Let's see the UI. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we have a constraint layout that we will use as a container to load the fragments. The ID of this layout is the container. In the fragment underscore one.xml file, we have a button, go to the second fragment. And in the fragment underscore two.xml file, we have a text view, second fragment. Let's see the Kotlin code now. This is the main activity. In the onCreate function, we call the load first fragment function. This is the load first fragment function where we load the first fragment into the fragment container. These are the imports. This is the first fragment. In the onCreateView function, when the button is clicked, we call the go to second fragment function. This is the go to second fragment function. This is how we go to the second fragment. Here, we put the first fragment in the back stack. So when we navigate back from the second fragment, the first fragment would persist in the back stack, and we will land from the second fragment to the first fragment. This is the second fragment. We keep this fragment as it is. Let's run the app. So that's it. That's how you can implement the fragment back stack navigation in Kotlin Android. Thank you.